And this is the NMU webcam looking towards the northern center. And as you can see, it's a dry parking lot and there's no precipitation flying through the lights right now. But that's all about to change here on the high resolution radar. And we have this in motion here. You can see we do have some rain showers off to the west of Marquette and that's headed this way. So we might get some wet pavement around the city of Marquette here as we head into the next hour. And we also might start to see some wintry precipitation as well. But before the clouds and the rain showers showed up to Bonnie V's place, she caught a nice post sunset photo and posted that to our 906 weather watchers page. Thanks Bonnie for sending that in. Thanks for our thanks for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, head to Facebook, search it, check it out, and feel free to join. All right, let's get you to our current temperatures right now. You can see temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. We got 39 for both downtown Marquette at the US Coast Guard, and also 39 for Sawyer International, 36 for Munising, and we got 34 degrees for Manistique. As we look at our high temperatures today, they were in the 40s and 50s. 50 degrees for Sawyer International, 50 degrees for Escanaba. And as we look at our official numbers today at the National Weather Service in Nagani Township, we had 49 for today's high, 29 the low, 44 and 37 the numbers for downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. Three things to know here. We are looking at possibly some wintry precipitation along with the rain showers tonight through Friday morning. And some of this wintry precipitation and rain showers could hang on into the daytime hours on Friday. But I think for most of us, we're back to some weekend sunshine. And in fact, here is your seven day forecast. You can see the sunshine returning, but the chillier air somewhat hanging on for Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. And it looks like the dry conditions look like they're going to hang on into next week with a slow warm up. Your extended forecast for your UP community coming up here in just a bit. Local three radar network shows the precipitation that I showed you on the high resolution radar out to the west and moving this way on the radar and satellite. You can see the clouds advancing eastward as well, and this is all part of an upper level low here that is spinning about northern Ontario and around this upper level low counterclockwise flow around this low pressure system in the upper part of the atmosphere. It's sending down pieces of energy and it's also sending in reinforcing chillier air and that's why temperatures are going to be on the chillier side as we go into the daytime on Friday. So for the rest of the night rain showers and yes some wintry precipitation look for lows tonight around 30 or the 30s for tomorrow. You can see some rain showers and some wintry precipitation hanging on. Temperatures aren't going far. Highs tomorrow around 40 or the 40s and then for Saturday. We'll have a cold, chilly start. And then for Saturday afternoon, we're looking at potentially a rain shower or two popping on up. Otherwise, expect dry conditions. High temperatures for Saturday afternoon will be in the 40s. Some spots make it into the 50s. And then that's going to be the same deal for Mother's Day. Highs 40s and 50s. And a rain shower may pop up. Otherwise, plan on a dry Mother's Day on Sunday. Here's your UP community extended forecast. First, the snow. Hard to forget about that. Some slush to an inch in the blue, but in the darker blue and higher terrain west of Marquette, we could see one to three inches of snow. Now your UP community extended forecast. Temperatures will be in the 40s for Friday and Saturday for Marquette, Marquette County, but we could see some 50s well inland. For the eastern UP, we'll see temperatures in the 40s for Friday and Saturday and also Sunday. Along the Sydney stretch from Sydney over to Shingleton, we could see temperatures around 50. Delta County and Escanaba, We'll see temperatures in the 40s for Friday, but 50s as you head away from the lakes for, for the weekend. For the interior west, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 40s for Friday, and then 50s starting Saturday and continuing for Sunday and early next week. And then for the Keweenaw Peninsula, we'll see temperatures in the 40s for Friday. 40s continue for Saturday and Sunday, but also Saturday and Sunday, we could see some 50s well inland. Becca, we'll send it back to you.